Hey, how you guys doing? Michael X. Yeah, I haven't done a tutorial video in a really long time. I think it's been almost 10 months. Anyway, I wanted to promote my son's game that he made on Roblox. He's trying to get people to play his game. I told him I'd make a video for it. But I thought, just to add a little bit of sweetener to it, if you guys have ever played Roblox, you guys would know that, you know, any game that requires you to sit there and click is very difficult. So, how can you, without having to buy a special program and for free, you can use Auto Hotkey? I know, it's not, I know that rhymes, <laughs> but uh, so that's what this is. It's going to be how to make a, a rapid fire mouse or keyboard uh, with a program. So it's super simple and you can adjust it, uh, micro adjust it. It's uh, very simple and easy. If you already have a fe feature like this, you're not going to need it, so don't worry about it. But just for those of you that don't have it, I wanted to go ahead and show you it. So um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the link in the description, which will say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.autohotkey.com. Go ahead and hit download, download installer, and you'll see it here. I've already installed it, but I'm going to install it again. Okay, and then once it's done, you can go ahead and hit show folder if you're using Chrome. Um, this will be in your downloads. So, yeah, I'm going to delete the one I just got. And I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this window down. And you're going to want to go ahead and just double click on this. You will need administrative uh, privileges. You know, this is a program. And I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys that you could just hit Express Installation. But if you don't have a 64-bit computer, you're going to want to hit Custom Installation and hit 32-bit. If you're not sure, there's, there's, uh, you could simply just Google, you know, how do I know if I have a 64-bit system? And there's plenty of tutorials on there. I myself know I have a 64-bit. But the reason I'm doing this custom is because I don't want to put this in my program files. I want to actually have access to the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Browse. I'm going to go ahead and hit the drive I want it on. Because you guys can see that I have C, D, and E drive. I'm going to go ahead and hit and click on C drive. And you'll see that this highlights new folder. We want to go ahead and make a new folder. You guys can name it whatever you want. But I'm going to say that the auto hotkey is probably what you'd want to do. Uh, just auto hotkey and then hit OK. And then now you'll know where it is. Hit next, hit install. It says this, this shouldn't take long. And then it should be installed. Now this works like 7-zip. If you guys don't know what 7-zip is, don't worry. You don't need it. <laughs> Not for this. Um, but I would recommend if you guys wanna, want to compress files that that's a good way to go. Okay, so um, now if you right click your desktop, you guys will notice that you could now see auto hotkey script, which you're going to want to go ahead and click on. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that you guys can name this rapid fire, whatever you want it to be. Um, yeah, whatever you want it to be. So it's going to have some code in it already. So before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you that we have to put script into this. So I've already have the script here. So this is the script that you would want to put in here. You would basically want to go down to the description, copy this, hit control C or right click and hit copy. And then you're going to want to go to your, uh, to your new rapid fire button and hit edit script, delete all of this, including the period, delete everything. And then hit Control V, as in Victor. This is basically going to give you the ability to micromanage this. So F is the the on and off, which you can change to any key. This is suspend. It means it will, will automatically turn it off. This is where you could pick the button. So you could technically just change the L to an R, and your right button would now be rapid fire. But you'd also have to change it here. Now, as far as the keys go, there are other tutorials online. If you guys are curious, just put in auto hot key, how to make a key on your keyboard. And they'll go into detail that I can't go into because I don't have the time to do it. 
but uh, this is how you control the speed. The lower the number, the faster the fire is. Right now we have it set at 10, which is probably the fastest that I would recommend. If you want it to be more realistic, I would say that 40 or 50 is probably realistically about how fast you would be clicking in real life. So just keep that in mind, but we're not gonna do that. So uh, once once you've done this, you can go, go ahead and hit Control S to save, or you can go ahead and just hit save here. And then if it didn't save, it will actually tell you there. Now we have a couple of choices here. Now that we have our rapid fire one key, um, you guys can make this a permanent edition by basically hitting con compile script and it will pop up here to a basically a button that you can't really edit. I mean, you can't edit it like you'd want to. Like you could change the picture on it, maybe. I'm not even sure if you can change the picture. Uh, I don't think you can customize it. So once you've done this, you just have a big H here and you can't really do anything. You can't adjust the script. But uh, if you were to double click on this, the auto hotkey will be on and you wouldn't have to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and say that you're better off just not doing that and leaving it as it is. So let's go ahead and double click on this. Now, once I double click on it, you'll see the H appear in your, your window here. And now you can see, look, the auto hotkey is now on. All right, F9 disables it. So F9 means it's off. So you guys can see that I have it off. All right, so let's go ahead and go to my son's game, which is called Thanos Lifter. <clears throat> it's in beta, so there are some, some problems. If you guys would like to see more stuff added, let him know. And of course, if you can, favorite the video or favorite his game, like it. Um, he will earn Roblox for the amount of people that come on here. So that would be cool for him. So if you guys can come on here. Now he does have music playing. Uh, he does. He has music playing. But uh, I have it off because I don't know if it's copyrighted. So you guys will be doing this to music. So that's cool. So uh, just kind of take a little tour. Um, T. I guess he says press T to <laughs> pay respects to Thanos guards who died. I don't know what he means by that. But uh, here you go. Uh, if, if you beat the game, you're a true Thanoid. And, of course, he told me that these little things that just fell over, it's the 2D life. That's what he said. So I guess that means it sucks <laughs> to be 2D. So, yeah. As you can see, Thanny, the guard, <laughs> likes to lie on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So he did this purposely just, you know, because they obviously didn't make it. George the guard doesn't like his armor. <laughs> okay, so uh, there are some things. This is uh, his first game that he's done public. And so if you guys go ahead and click, see it says normal weight, you start out with the infinity gauntlet. So if you guys were to play this, this game, I'm just going to show you guys. If you pick the infinity gauntlet um, and you click on it, look, each time I click, nothing's really happening. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet. Now when I hit F9, Okay, so this remembered my last visit, unfortunately. So that's why we actually are, are where we are right now. So let me just go ahead and put it to you this way. You start out with the, with the gauntlet, and then from there you can purchase other ones. So I right now, I believe, um, I have I have the... Uh, yeah, it says I have 42 billion strength. So I'm pretty sure I can start going on to the planets now. Now, my son said that if you're doing this, you're going to want to basically not have anything in your hand. Go to the planet shop. And this is this is also for the weight shop. And you're going to want to pick, you know, the moon or whatever, whatever you have money for. And then just click here. <clears throat> click on the earth or whatever it is you get. And 
hit F9 and you can now use the auto clicker. If you look on the top right hand screen, you guys can see how fast the auto clicker is going. Yeah, it's going quick. So we're now at 50 billion, I think, or 50 million, I don't know. I'm going to hit F9. And you guys can see that we 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 uh we need a little bit more for this. We need 1 trillion to go to Jupiter. So uh, as you guys can see, it, it really didn't take that long with the auto clicker. So, yeah. So hitting uh, F9 again, you could, if you really wanted to be lazy, you could go and get something relatively heavy and put it on your mouse and leave the room and come back in, in a half hour. And, you know, but you guys can see that I have this set on 10, which means it's clicking it as fast as it possibly can. Now, I did want to tell you if you guys wanted to make it look realistic or maybe you're, I'm going to say, let's say you're a Puritan, you know, you're Puritist. You, if you set it, if you set that code where I, where I said to 10, if you set it to 50, um, yeah, if you set it to 50, your strength is going to go, it, it would, it would actually take you the real amount of time. But I mean, who really wants to do that? Now, there are some other things I wanted to tell you. You can drive those cars out there, but if you drive them off the edge of the map, they won't respawn. So just keep that in mind. So we're almost to one trillion, and I haven't, I've only done three clicks. So for those of you like me that are older, this saves you from having, um, yeah, it saves you from having, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it saves you from getting like carpal tunnel or something. So now we got Jupiter. And you guys can see that uh, my strength up here, if I just click, you guys can see that's how much you would get normally. Hit F9, and boom. You know, you're going to jump really quick to your next set. So this works pretty much in all of them, but let's just say that you were in a game and maybe it kicked you out because they said you were clicking too fast or that you were cheating. If I hit F9, I can go ahead and show you guys if we shrink this down. Um, if you wanted to, hit F9 and make sure your auto clicker is not on. Go ahead and right click and hit exit. And then go ahead and go here. Um, whoops, don't rename it. We want to go ahead and edit script. And you can go ahead and change this to 50. Change it to 50, hit control S or just go to file and hit save, close it, and now this auto clicker when we click it will be actually slow. Now you guys can see, look, it's like like you would really click. So around 50. I'm going to hit F9 again, expand the window, hit F9, hit Jupiter. If you guys look, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm actually just clicking. Just click, 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 click. So it's pretty pretty good. It's a it's a nice tool, and I will say that you know I would really appreciate if uh, there's my son right there. Yeah, there there he is. <laughs> so uh, while we're auto clicking at a slower speed, uh, we got the Thanos over here. I don't know why it's not rendering for me. It looks like the body fell to pieces. <laughs> he said something about that, like why he did that. Yeah, there's some buildings. There's some other stuff. If you guys have any requests of things you'd like, go ahead and let him know, and he'll add it into the game for you. If you guys find a bug, let, let him know. And just to let you guys know again, if you're having trouble with this, you could always ask him, but I'm going to go ahead and say that in the wait shop, if you have the auto clicker on, you could bust it. So hit F9 when you open this up. And then of course, if you want to select the next weight, disable what's in your hand. Cause I mean, this is a beta. It is his first, first go around at this. Um, and you could go ahead and pick your next one. Make sure there's nothing in your hand though, right? So if I had, if I had a, uh, you know, if I had five trillion, you can see I get the sun. So once I get the sun in my hand, I hit F9, and you guys can see that I, I'm going to earn a lot more. So you could fit, you could beat this game relatively fast, 
And it's it like I said, it's more about getting some people to come on here, spend some time, and help. You know, uh, help him. <laughs> you can see he's wrecking cars over there, which is kind of funny. So that's something I wanted to go ahead and show you next. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F9 to disable the uh, rapid fire. We're gonna go ahead and take one of these trucks. Now, like I said, there is music and there's custom music in the car that he did. Like I said, I don't know if it's um. Whoa, laggy. <laughs> <laughs> it is super loud. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> you guys will have to uh, experience it for yourself. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so how do I get out of this thing? I just jump, I think. There we go. There we go. So like I said, F9 auto clicker, you guys can see pretty pretty cool. You guys want to accelerate that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please come and uh, don't worry about liking my video uh, if you can. If you know anybody that plays Roblox, please let them know to check out Thanos Lifter which is my son's first public game. He's created other games, but this is his first public game. So, anyway. All right. Catch you guys later.